All right, my name is Matt. I've been a professional wedding photographer for the last four years. I'm currently here in my studio located just north of Milwaukee in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. Today, we're gonna go through a quick gear review video for you to see exactly what wedding photography gear I use. This is what I bring to every single wedding that I shoot. All right, we're gonna start on the left here. I recently upgraded to these Godox or Godox, however you say it. Uh, V1s, really awesome flashes. These things are high power. They've got the round head. They all talk to each other, they all transmit. So I always bring three of these to every single wedding with spare batteries, of course. I use these often in ceremonies. I use them in receptions, sometimes for prep. You don't know what kind of light scenario you're gonna run into. Sometimes you need to bring a little bit of filler light. I keep that pretty simple and that's what, that's what I've been using. Before that, I was just using some cheap ones. Moving on to my lenses here. I always have two to three lenses with me. I'm currently shooting on a Panasonic 35 1.8 for my primary lens. I shoot almost the entire wedding on this lens. I've shot entire weddings on just a 35 millimeter. You don't need a big set of gear and you don't need the 20 different lenses in your bag. Really, you can get away with doing almost everything with just a 35 millimeter. I like shooting on a 35 millimeter lens because it's so versatile and it just leaves a little bit of extra breathing room in the image, which I think creates a better story. The second lens that I use the most is the 24 to 105 f4 and I use use this so much mainly during the ceremony. During the ceremony, sometimes you need a little bit tighter of a shot, sometimes you need a little bit wider of a shot. Rather than switching out lenses every two seconds, I keep this bad boy on there to get the job done. This lens I use all the time during the ceremony. If I also need a wide establishing shot or something, that's that's the lens that I'm pulling out of my bag. Not always, but sometimes to bring the 70 200. I really only use this for two parts of the day. Ceremony, if I wanna get a really tight shot, if I'm shooting a Catholic ceremony, sometimes you're required to stand back a little bit further. It can be a really great shot. This is an awesome beast of a lens. 7200, 2.8, awesome shots, but I primarily use it for the ceremony. And I also sometimes will pull it out at a cocktail hour to get a couple tighter shots, just sniping some candids. Works great for that, but besides that, I don't keep it on my camera much during the day, so that's why I don't always bring it. On to the main event here, my Panasonic S1R. This is the camera that I switched to earlier this year. At this point, I've shot over 100,000 images professionally done with this camera. I say professionally done as in on shoots, at weddings, engagements, family sessions, seniors. I shot almost every single day this year. That's how I got to 100,000 pictures already. And no, I don't overshoot. This thing's been a beast, super high resolution, which is great. Sometimes I have to crop in really tight for images. If they need a headshot, sometimes you have to crop way in um, and you need to keep that resolution. So that's why I love having a lot of megapixels. The autofocus at first was giving me some troubles, but after messing around with some settings, I was able to get it to a point that I was very satisfied with. Um, this camera's a beast. As you can see, I always keep a battery grip on the camera. I like doing that. I think you are playing with fire if you remove batteries from your camera during a shoot. I shoot on large cards, 256s, and I always have enough battery power in my camera to shoot the whole event or session that day without changing batteries. Very important, that's just a personal preference for me. I've had all my camera failures I've ever had has been from removing batteries. And that's also why I bring a second one. I bring a second S1R just in case you can't be a professional photographer without two cameras, in my opinion. That's a professional thing to do. Equipment failure happens all the time, bring a second camera. And not only do I bring a second S1R, but I also have another two cameras I bring with. I bring my old Nikons. I switched over from Nikon a while ago. So I, sometimes I keep those Nikons with me just in case, because you never know. I, crazy things happen at weddings and you have to be prepared for the worst. I've had that a couple times this year already where I had camera glitch up and needed to switch back to an old Nikon. So that's what I bring. That's my core stuff. It's quite minimalistic. I don't roll in there with, with a huge amount of gear and I, I think that helps me be more efficient with my work and be a better photographer because if you're shooting primarily on a prime lens, you're using your feet for your zoom. You're using your brain to make more creative compositions rather than just zooming in and out to get different shots and, and shooting it as it happens. That's my gear. I always have many, many, many spare batteries along as well and I always bring a charger for both my flashes and for my cameras. Very important got to be ready for anything. That's cameras, lenses, and flashes. I'm going to show you really quick which bags I bring on wedding day, what I use them for, and also the straps I use. Here is the camera strap that I use. I use the Black Rapid. I can't remember what the name of this model is, but it's the one that's a little bit padded, but doesn't have like the extra piece. I love these straps. I personally will never wear one of the leather harness straps. 
At this point, I just think it's kind of corny. Personally, don't hate me, I'm sorry. I think it's corny. All I need is something that's super functional. And what I like the best about this camera strap is how big it is. It's kind of just like a big sling. It screws right into the bottom of your camera for ultimate flexibility when you're shooting. It hangs by your side, you pull it up, you're ready to take a shot. Boom, boom, just like that. Doesn't get out in your way and I've had no issues hitting stuff. That's my strap, the Black Rapid. It's amazing, check it out. All right, next item, one of my favorite items, my Pelican case. I've got the green one, the traditional carry-on size Pelican case. Love this thing. It's a great item to have if you have a lot of gear that's expensive, you don't wanna break it. Um, also great for travel. So uh, I'll show you the inside here. I've got, I have the yellow dividers. I went with this option because my gear is constantly changing um, and I just need to be flexible. So this works great. I put my camera bodies in here and I put my memory cards in here and I put my lenses in here. Anything expensive and valuable goes in the Pelican case. Next item on the docket, my backpack. On wedding day, I use this backpack for flashes. I've got the Low Pro, I don't know how to say it. Uh, it's just a tactical backpack, super heavyweight, super big. It's got lots of different compartments in here that you can use for pretty much anything. I choose to use it as my flash backpack. It just keeps things separate. Now that I have more gear than I used to, I bring separate bags for everything. So um, this is also great side note for travel. I've brought this as a personal item on an airplane under my seat. That's worked every time. And it's also great. We just were shooting Hosel out in Utah, video coming soon. I hiked with this like two miles one way up a mountain with all my gear in it. So. Nice piece to have, a nice durable backpack. Every photographer needs one. And last but not least, for baggage on wedding day, is my little messenger carrier bag, whatever you wanna call it. I have a nice little uh, yellow insert here. You can fit three lenses in there. I bought this a long time ago. Maybe if some of you have seen Craig Adams' Wedding Film School, you might recognize this. That's how I found out about this bag. It's on Amazon for like 20 bucks. It's a great piece if you don't wanna bring your Pelican, you don't wanna bring your backpack, you just need a couple lens changes. I also always keep my questionnaire for my clients in this bag, because it's what I carry around all day long. I also usually keep some snacks in here too in case I get hungry, but that's my bags. Pretty simple, like all the rest of my gear is. I don't go crazy. Thanks for checking out my gear video for 2023. This is the gear I'll be carrying through the rest of this season and all of next season. Everything that I talked about in this video will be linked in the description. Um, I can't remember the specific names of every single thing, so we're gonna find that, put it in the description. But thanks for checking out our video. We're gonna be doing weekly posts, so hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we'd love it if you dropped a comment and a like. This has been Matt with Forte Films and Stills. Thanks so much for watching our video. We'll see you on the next one.